Well, it's April 24th today, and that's day 21 of my repotting season. Three weeks now. And things are really starting to happen with the buds on a lot of these trees. I was doing a bunch of stuff today, so I couldn't get any repotting done. It's fairly late in the day. The apricot tree is blooming next to me, looking really awesome. I gotta get more air layers on there. Anyways, um, yeah, some of these maples are flushing out. The birch in the corner is doing well. Uh, I need to take most of these out and put them in the full sunlight. I've been kind of moving things around as I'm numbering everything and you know making lists <laughs> making the priority list you know what's next anyways I don't have much time for repotting today so I don't think I'll be able to do the rest of my pines but I do want to I do want to get this one done so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is repot or just number some of these pines. I'll repot them in the future, but you know, I'll repot them and post the videos kind of out of sequence. So yeah, this one is number 13 on the left, number 14 on the right. And then over here, I was kind of thinking about maybe just separating these trees and not doing the, you know, the fused trunk like I've been trying to do since I put that artificial sinew on last year. But I think I'm just gonna keep them that way. Call it one tree, number 15. Just circle that one. Number 15 for this tree, which is going to make this tree number 16, which is another one of my favorite numbers. I'll go ahead and repot that today because it really needs it because you know these buds are, these candles are extending already. Uh, I don't want to leave it till tomorrow, you know. And then that pine over there, that's going to be number 17, which is my favorite number. So yeah, I collected this little seed in the other day. I didn't show in any updates. Another cool thing is this pine, this big fat red bud in there, I think that means, you know, I was pretty sure last year that this was a, a two needle red pine, kind of local to the area, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is, you know, that looks like a red, red pine bud. Anyways, I think I might just leave that one in the pot to grow stronger this year. Yeah, it didn't really do too much last year. You can see just those tiny little short needles. So I'll let it strengthen up for another year before I repot that one, but that'll be red pine number one. And then after that, that'll be all of my pines done. And they seem to be the earliest ones flushing out. So then I can focus on other things after. This big spruce here is still not ready but I think I, I will be repotting that one. This one definitely needs a repot. I'm gonna put it in a bigger, bigger container, a bigger pot. It needs it, I really wanna, you know, strengthen this tree, grow it strong before I do anything with it. And those buds are just starting to extend the candles, so. You know, I'll do that one tomorrow, and that should be fine. Okay, that's enough talking about repotting. It's time to start doing some. Okay. So this is going to be white pine number 16. Really excited for this tree. There's no white tips on the roots out the bottom yet, but the pine I did yesterday had white growing tips and those needles weren't 
those candles hadn't extended as much as with this one. So first I'll take all this moss off. Really nice clumps of moss had formed on this one. I'll save that for the the new planting. Okay. Next, hopefully these branches have kind of set in place. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, that's not bad. Get a nice close up here before I do anything. Pretty gnarly trunk. I don't know, there's three branches coming out of the same spot here, so it's starting to thicken up. I should probably get rid of one of them. I might get rid of this one because there's this one higher up. This could come even further down in the future. Yeah. I think for now I won't do any pruning. I'll just wait until the candles extend and then do some pinching. And yeah, kind of redirect the growth throughout the tree. So actually, yeah, it's, I think it's actually the perfect time. You can see just a tiny little bit of white at the, the end of some of the roots, not all of them. So yeah, pretty good timing actually. I'll just get the camera a little bit closer. All right. As always, I like to use my hands first to tease out what soil I can. This, this stuff was fairly fairly broken down, but I think, you know, when I potted this up, I wasn't sifting my soils at all, so there was a lot of fine, fine material in there that isn't in my, you know, my newest version of my bonsai soil. Quite a lot of nice root growth, regardless of what kind of soil I had it in. see some thick ones that I can get rid of. Okay, that was pretty easy actually. I didn't even need the, the stick to help get those roots sorted. Okay, I'll just quite a bit there. A few long ones that had grown. Pretty nice. Get this soil off and the tree washed off and the new pot ready to go and then I'll be right back. percent battery hopefully that's enough right well the question is now how much can I do with these roots 
How much do I dare doing with them? Well, I see a really nice thing I can do first. So this is basically the, yeah, this is the tap root here, the thick part. I can get rid of it all up to here and let those grow out radially. So that's a pretty nice, nice first move here, I think. With root training, this tree. I don't think I did any pruning last year. Maybe that's a cut point, but maybe I just, you know, angled the tap root to grow sideways. I'm not sure, but that's a lot of root gone with one cut. But just about everything else is kind of nice and radial. This is looking really good, actually. I'll just get rid of a few, a few things. Um, this one's growing too sharp of an angle in. Uh, same with that one. This one I can shorten to that root here. Um, might just get rid of this one entirely. That thick middle one. It's a really long one. Yeah, I'm gonna Actually, this other root looks not... It's not really the best direction, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one off instead. Keep the thicker one, but... Cut it off down here at those roots. Just shorten them a little bit. This one, gone, you can see, this one comes up at a weird angle, so it's gone, get rid of the thicker part, train those to you know, split and grow out like that camera yeah split and go out like that um, get rid of the thicker one here keep that one and get rid of the shorter one that's good I think I'll even keep that one. I'll have three coming out of this one spot. Just shorten them to a good spot where they divide. this one over here so I can get rid of this one that grows down and then pretty nice cut it back to here and those ones are good that's good there, shorten that, shorten those ones, and well, that's a lot of root chopping as usual. Just destroying all of my root systems, but hopefully, you know, I mean, I'm turning everything nice and radial, getting rid of everything that's not. So at the very least, tried my best, and if any of these trees die, then that's fine. All of that root, gone. Got a very nice piney smell. I really love repotting these conifers, these and the spruces. Okay, so I'll plant this fairly deep, 
but I'll get a mound of soil on there first. everything in the direction that I want them to grow, more or less. That's the best I can do for this repotting. Maybe I did a little bit too much. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. start growing soon or it won't and then I'll know Again, just to make sure all the soil's firmed up right under the tree at least. Make sure all the ends of each root are underneath soil. very top heavy and very basically rootless. So I'm definitely gonna have to put some stones onto the surface here and then I'll get the rest of that moss back onto here as well. For now, that's a good planting angle. Once it's established in the pot, I can maybe shape some of those branches with uh, guy wires, you know, the artificial sinew that I use. get the job done until those roots are settled into their new soil. Get some of this moss back on there as well. There's a big clump of it there. It too close to the trunk of the tree.
I've got a nice clump of moss here. I can't fit onto this tree, but I can use it for another one. Get the tree fully watered in after after this video. So that's a lot of root that came off. Yeah, first let's do a close-up spin. Yeah, well, I think that's looking pretty cool. White pine, number 16. This is my, I guess, most developed one, you might say. Not most. The biggest one is the most developed in, term of bran in terms of branching. This one has a good amount of branching the buds on the very top, the ones on the apex there, they're very strong. Okay, well that's it for this one, white pine number 16. There's lots of buds coming out along the trunk here. Eventually I'm going to get rid of this trunk. I don't know, this might be the eventual leader, we'll see, because it's pretty much, you know, the same thickness all the way up here. This is where it's thicker, and then that would be good taper, but this is good. I'm going to let it grow really thick as a kind of sacrificial leader, put a lot of vigor into this tree, and then chop it back hard in the future, and get some really interesting shape lower down, hopefully. There's some damage here and here from, you know, back when the tree was just a wild tree and then I collected it. Pretty sure I got this one in August of 2020 as well, so I've also had this one for a year and a half. And yeah, put on some really good growth last year and hopefully it'll do it again this year too. Alright, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.